Baseball fans witness every move that players make in the field. Another nice play by the Jungle Cat. But what about their lives before they step on the diamond? We sent Hannah Wing to meet up with Rangers rookie Josh Young to cover everything from home to home plate. This is On The Move, presented by GEICO. You ready to head to the ballpark? Let's do it. Josh, your place is awesome. When did you move in? Um, pretty much right after spring training. Moved in, didn't really know where to live in Dallas. Um, found this little spot not too far from the ballpark. So it's just a nice little easy commute every day. Do you enjoy driving? I mean, you must spend so much time in the car. Yeah, I actually have like a routine driving to the field. Okay, let's hear it. I try to do every day. So like, I call in to this one hotline, it's called Success Hotline. Uh, Dr. Rob Gilbert every day just kind of has like a motivational message. And then I listen to Brian Kane's podcast. It's called like Brian Kane Daily or Mental Performance Daily. Listen to that podcast. And then I listen to the Daily Stoic podcast. And by that time, I'm usually like ballpark. So your last name is J-U-N-G, but it's pronounced Young. What is your family's origin? Like, can you explain that pronunciation? Because I feel like there's a lot of questions about that. So what I've been told is it's Old German and that our name used to have an E on the end. So it was like Youngie. Oh, interesting. Um, but I guess when they came over, you know, from Germany, they dropped the E. And they kind of just settled in a small little German town in Fredericksburg. And that's kind of all I know about it. You played against so many people you were playing with in the All-Star game. Who were you the most excited to meet? Otani. Obviously, that's a get. It's, it's a get that's for sure. That's definitely the give me answer there. Definitely didn't want to like go up to Otani and just be like, hey, I'm John. Big fan over here. Huge fan. I mean, actually, funny story. They gave us all a box of baseballs to oh, get signed. Oh, that's awesome. I, I wanted to that. get one signed by Otani. <laughs> and I was too scared to go ask no. myself. So I had the clubby oh, go ask him for me because I was too scared. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so speaking of baseball, we've already touched on a lot of that. But off the field, what are some of your hobbies and interests? I mean, it seems like I'm baseball through and through. I collect baseball cards. That's one thing. Uh, so it's kind of fun. Like open some stuff at the field and get my teammates or, you know, get somebody who we're playing and it's all a bunch of fun. A couple of the clubbies are uh, big baseball card collectors too. Uh, I also collect comic books. What's your favorite comic book character? Ooh, I mean, Captain America is my favorite character, so it's hard to beat beat him. And I really just do like Captain America stuff and it's Star Wars stuff. Um, and my favorite Star Wars character is Ahsoka Tano, um, who has a new show out right now. We're like four episodes in and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Well, we're here at the ballpark. Let's head to the field for something fun. All right, let's do it. Josh, we're here at Globe Life Field. I have a really fun series of questions. You ready? Let's do it. All right, let's go around the bases. So first off, do you have any pets or did you have any pets growing up? I did. We had two. I had a Shih Tzu when I was really little. His name was Ebbett. And then had a mini Schnauzer pretty much through high school. What is your favorite off-day activity? Honestly, I get pedicures every once in a while. Keep the feet going. What was the last movie you cried in? None. You've never <laughs> cried in a movie? I don't think I've ever cried in a movie. <laughs> Not in touch with my emotions like that, I guess. Not an emotional guy. <laughs> um, what's your favorite season of the year? I'm gonna have to say summer. Is it too early for pumpkin spice lattes? Ooh, yes. Don't drink coffee, so it's always too early for pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> All right, this next question's a fun one. What is your go-to karaoke song? Ooh, um, Live Like You Were Dying. Oh, Tim uh, McGraw, that's yeah, a great one. <laughs> Let's see, if you could go to any concert in the world, who would it be? There's two people, Cole Swindell, love Cole, and Luke Combs. Oh, that's um, a good one. Maybe Morgan Wall, I gotta throw him in there too. Josh, we're rounding third, about to head home, so I have some lightning round questions for you. Are you ready? ready. All right, here we go. Sweet or salty snacks? Sweet. Do you put the milk or the cereal in the bowl first? Cereal first. What is the name of your fantasy football team? The Jungle Cats. The Jungle Cats, I love it. Who's the most famous person in your phone? Probably Cole Swindell. Who is your childhood crush? Ooh, Anna Kendrick from Pitch Perfect. Gotta love it, great movie. Does the Peagle have feathers or fur? I'm gonna go feathers. Who's the pitcher you love to face? Nathan Evaldi. All right, speaking of pitching, you get asked to take the mound. What pitch are you throwing? The slowest knuckleball I can. Last one for you, Josh. Who is your most intimidating teammate? Ooh, gotta go and roll this Chapman. Valid. He is a very large human being. Well, Josh, that's all I have for you. Easy enough? Easy enough. On the Move is brought to you by GEICO, wherever you call home field. 
it's easy to Geico. 